Hey everyone, it's Damon with Living in the OC. We're still making progress down here in Laguna. Say hi, Mom. Hi, everybody. You can hear in the background, today is an exciting day because we have somebody here who has to be making a trench in the concrete from the kitchen sink across the room so that we can run a water line and be able to have a water supply to the ice maker and cold water in the refrigerator. So um, that's starting today. And we also have had three people from the homeowners association trying to figure out what's going on with the ceiling. We keep getting more dripping from the unit above. That's a little bit of a problem. Uh, may, I don't know if you can walk in and shoot that, Damon. I can, yeah, we can, okay. we can. It's All just- right. let's shoot this for a minute here. Right. All right, here we go. Well, we still have our issues with the water that we're dealing with. Hopefully yeah. they're going to be coming I mean, out. Zoom in on that if you can. This yeah, is we already have the, uh, the, um, it's actually getting worse. And then we're going to have the, uh, HOA come in because I really do think it's a plumbing problem, but we'll shoot this from the back so you can see. So here we're having the uh, yeah. So here we're having the water line run in today. Trench. You can see here. Something so simple as just getting ice cubes is a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's in progress right now. All right, super exciting. So we've had some more progress today. We have a whole new copper line going from underneath the sink. Came here, had to drill a little hole right yeah. here. And he, he was shooting it as he was drilling out a trench because here's where the refrigerator is going, the new refrigerator, and there's the copper line. There's the new line. Let me see if I can zoom in. There it is. New Wonderful. Copper line right there. Yes. And he's already patched up the cement. The line right there with cement. Looks fantastic. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we are at our favorite store and I think we come here probably five times a day, I would say. We're at Home Depot of all places. Everyone loves Home Depot. Say hi, mom. Hi, everybody. Tomorrow morning, the valve, the old valve is being replaced in the, in the guest shower. And we've planned a, a, a drop walk in with a drain against the far wall so there's no step over so that someone in a wheelchair could roll into it. And there will be a bench seat built. And I was there today and I thought, oh my gosh, I cannot remember. Did we get a shower head that has a detachable center so that you can bring it to you while you're sitting on the built-in bench? Well, especially with elderly people, we want to have the detachable yes. head. Because they're not going to be standing there by the And I could not remember. It's why you save all your receipts. Absolutely. So well, let's go ahead and here. show them anyway. So, so let's show them. Here, here's the one that we picked. Let's keep your cart together here too yes and we anyway, were here's the, the, the and it does have this detachable shower head yeah it does not need the bathtub because we took out the bathtub this one's from delta it's a good product right good. okay price but it's going to go with that matte black look that we like so much and it does have the extension so that the person who's sitting on the bench and we were able to take our receipt and coordinate on the box, they had one here. We were able to coordinate on the box to make sure this is the one that we purchased because we've gotten so many things that it does match the exact numbers. So now the I know skew numbers. So we're I good. have to have this available because we're turning off water for two hours. It's a big deal. You go to homeowners association, they turn off the water, you get two hours, they come back, they turn the water on. So I don't have time to shop or run around. We need the valves. So that's the other thing I have to purchase is a shutoff valve. So that's our last uh, last thing we have to do. And then tomorrow's an excite, another exciting day of getting the water leak taken care of. And we shot some, also some video today of the horrible leak in the ceiling. So yeah, baby steps, baby we're steps, making progress. We're um, we are. 
hopefully a bunch of the plumbing issues will be done in the next few days. Hopefully by the time we release this video, we're going to be done with, well, I don't know how long it's going to take them to get the ceiling fixed. I'll know tomorrow afternoon. Got somebody in to fix it tomorrow afternoon. Cool. Hopefully, fingers crossed to say a prayer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you can't just talk about all serious stuff. When you come to Home Depot, you got to That's pretty frightening. <laughs> and here is a... Oh, look at what we have here. She has a book of spells. This reminds me of your Halloween oh, back at the old house. I know. Me. I used to put a big stir pot with yeah, cauldron. Cauldron. With your and dry ice. Dry ice I still and remember everything. that. Yep. Okay, let's see what else we have here. That's how I felt The Grim today. Reaper's really freaky, oh, let's but let's, let's see this let's one, though, first. Here. I hear there's a splendid bartender in this establishment. Tell him I sent you. I recommend the Bloody Mary. <laughs> it's extra bloody. I come here. I know. So that's a, so a friend of ours, Papa Eve, just showed up. But we're showing all the fun Halloween things that you can buy at Home Depot for Halloween. My, my son would love this. All right, so that's that one. What else? Is that it? That's it. That's it. More Halloween fun. Kind of looks like Megan. Ooh, that's a little spooky. Okay, her eyes are lighting up. Is she gonna, oh, here she goes, last minute. She doesn't say anything, huh? Okay. This one's eyes are just lighting up. Lots of fun stuff for the kiddos here at Home Depot. Halloween's about a month away. To trick or treat, it's Halloween. So this is how I spend the majority of my day. I wait with mom while mom's on her phone and does lots of texting, lots of phone calls. I'm We're trying to find what size shut off valve. I think it's a quarter inch, but I'm not sure. So I'm checking. Super exciting. <laughs> yeah, it is. So anyway, this is a lot of our day running around Home Depot looking for stuff, looking for parts, and mom sending lots of text messages. So we're wrapping up another fun day, and uh, at the end of any long day, you get one of these. I did the top 10 Mexican restaurants in Orange County. This was number two on my list. And they have absolutely fantastic margaritas. So let's have a sip. And we just found out I get to go back to Home Depot one more time today. It'll be the third trip today because I did get mm. the wrong size shut off valve. <laughs> so we still have work left to do after dinner. But that's just a typical day for us. And then we have to go back and do some books. Right. So, good times. So our day will wrap up at about 11 o'clock. Yep. And it starts at 8 a.m. tomorrow with right. the plumber, right? Right. 
So good times. All right. Okay, guys. So we kind of wanted to wrap up this update for this week. Some interesting developments happening here. A lot going on in the last 24 hours. We're going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> you know, on a lot of these shows, this is the part like when Tarek does his episodes where he talks to the contractor and he gets bad news and he loses his mind. Right. And he rolls his eyes and throws his hands up in the yeah. air and all oh, that. Oh, yeah. and you've got, you know, you've got to be kidding me. And it has a fit over what's happening. And this is one of those days. So, um, mom, let's kind of update them with what is happening. Okay, I, because this is a retirement area that has condominiums, there are six of them in this particular unit, you must, in order to do plumbing, turn off all six units. So you have to go to the homeowners association, someone from other uh, representative comes, turns off the water, you have to inform all of the other residents. Well, they showed up this morning and since I had not informed all of the residents, uh, you know, if they're not home and you knock on the door, then um, instead of giving us two hours to get the plumbing done, we only, they only gave us one hour. So what we ended up doing was, and we'll go into the bathrooms and show you, um, you, in order to do the new valves and all the replacement things that we wanna do in the showers, that's a community line. So. I only had one hour, so I had the plumber actually put a shutoff valve on the hot and the cold in both of the showers, and we'll go in. Yeah, well, I think we, we mentioned on the last video part of the problem here, in order to get the water shut off, you have to shut it off for every unit. At and the same time. And there are like five or six units in and this they're, building. And they're not happy. And they're not happy, so they were trying to, again, give us a hard time that we didn't give all the other residents enough notice. So right. that's why they only gave the hour. <laughs> so, so we got punished, apparently. Okay, well, here's what I hope today. This is our beautiful, very new, very lovely new shower that has a detachable handheld because we're building a seat here in the shower and we're going to make it flush with the floor so you can roll in there with a wheelchair or a walker and then sit down on a seat. But when you do that, if the shower head's here and you're sitting over at the other end, you've got a problem. So you need to be able to take part of that shower head and bring it to you. So we have this lovely new uh, fixture here, which did not get installed. I thought this would be done today. Here's all we were able to do with one hour. Damon and I went out last night and bought shutoff valves. Yeah, so we have new shutoff so valves. So in here. other words, now, we can turn the water off in our in our own unit here. No longer do we need the uh, drip into the Thank goodness that only went <laughs> for about 10 days. 10 days. And so now when we're ready, we're going to raise the shower head because it was too low and we're going to raise the on and off valve. When we're ready to do that, now all we have to do is go ahead and do it and then turn the water back on without going through turning the whole community off again. So if we come back here, we did the same thing in the, uh, in the main shower, back here in the main master. Which is gonna save us a, a lot of the headache of right. having to coordinate with all the residents on, on the weekend. Yes. So if you, if you peek back here, and this is, this is the ugly part of all this restoration. Every, everybody thinks it's so lovely and fun. This is the nitty gritty of it. Here is the hot. really step back Okay, far further. enough. Hold okay, on. here's the hot. Yeah. Here's the cold. They okay, are both. Me, same concept. So here we go. There are the shutoff valves. So now we can, and look at this. This is all detached and a mess, and we're throwing all that away. But that lets us segue into our real problem is that we have a vent and a vent is meant for air to go through it. Okay. We're, we were assuming that it was from the clothes dryer, but we're going to show you a video. We'll attach it where yesterday water tons, a bucket of water came pouring out of an air vent. So a gentleman just was here. He left. We thought maybe with all the rain we had in California, the vent, for the rain on the ceiling of the or the roof 
would have somehow drained into that vent. He went up on the roof, that's not it. So now we've had to cut out, I don't know if you can show yeah, this. Yeah, we've already shown him this. All of this, yeah. we, we had to make more holes. Oh, uh, more holes, okay. And more then up holes here in the too. ceiling here. Okay. Because we've been getting water and that's a vent pipe up there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then let's walk into the living room and show them what they're Well, maybe, let me stop the video for a minute. Maybe this is a good place to put in that clip of the, uh, okay. the drip from yes. last night. So I'm gonna stop footage for a moment. So at this point, um, we're gonna have our editor put in that clip that should show you all that drainage that came out last night when they opened up the ceiling. Right, out of the ceiling. Yeah. Well, here's our leak. We've just tore, tore some of the ceiling apart. Yeah, right there, you know, and yeah. it's coming like crazy. There's no water line in there. There's no water line no. there? So where no in the world is that water coming from? It comes from the bathroom. From the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of water inside now. Whoa. Oh. drip is coming from well we have holes that are now in here because we let all the water out right. but why is there water in that particular vent it makes no sense so we just had a gentleman here we have to go over through the association set up an appointment and this is somebody from the department which covers water intrusion uh -huh. so now we've had all this water that's not even supposed to be in this pipe he, if you look up here, see the blue tape? Yeah. That's where there's moisture. Uh -huh. So he was going to, he told me this morning, cut out all of that paper and so we could access this pipe and then replace this pipe. Now they're saying that they won't let him cut it out. Now they want to have somebody come over a different department, put blowers, try to dry this all out. No, this is damaged back. Board, so it has to come out. We're going to replace it. So what we'll probably do is go ahead and do it ourselves, put the new vent in, and I'm going to have like... Well, especially from the standpoint that they're probably... You would think that because it's in the ceiling and, and it's not within the walls that they should be responsible for it, but it's sounding like they're going to make us cover the cost of it in any, any way to repair it. So what I'm going to do is get somebody who can clean vents out. Sometimes HVAC companies do that. And a router, a router, whatever they call yeah. it, down through the pipe and find out where- A it's snake, out. you mean. A big snake that will clean this pipe out and tell me where it comes out, where, what's the source? It doesn't make sense. So- So this is just, a, again, this is like, we're, we're dealing with all of these little problems to just be able to move forward. And so we're, as you've said before, mom, that we're, we're just kind of on the, well, we're still on, on, the, on, the, on, of a on the demolition stage yes. of it before we can build everything back. So right. 
You yes. have to solve the problems. We need to mud the ceilings down. And we can't do that and close this up until we've got this solved. Then the painters can come in, do the walls, finish the ceilings. Then the floors can come in. Then, the, in the meantime, we're going to work on the bathrooms because I don't want to have zero progress. Yeah, exactly. That's not okay. But anyway, we'll maybe at home later on, we're going to go over to the city and go to the um, HOA and see if they can tell us, is this just the vent for the dryer? Makes no sense. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is Damon with Living in the OC here with mom, Cynthia. And uh, we're just trying to wrap up the footage for this week. All of our contact information is below. Go ahead, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, set up that Zoom conference if you'd like to. We would love to talk to you. But this has just been a little taste of the ups and downs that you go through on any normal project, really. Right. So don't get discouraged, or if you need some help, we would love to help you with your, with your property. So give us a call. All right. We'll uh, talk to you guys later. This is going to wrap up this weekly update. God bless. Bye.